after the uh, prize presentation in men's doubles, we are ready for the final in uh, women's single. Women's single featuring the number one seed against uh, the number two seed, Masumi Okuhara, who won the tournament here in um, 2017. Up against uh, Chen Fei. Here is the um, HSBC race to Guangzhou ranking. Natsumi Okuhara currently uh, number three, and um, she's going to move up to second place no matter what happens in um, the final here. And uh, Chen Fei is uh, going to definitely move up to uh, fourth place. Here's how it uh, unfolded in uh, women's singles. Kohara was uh, convincing against Internan yesterday whilst uh, Chen Fei missed a couple of uh, match points in the second game and was made to work for another third in deciding game against uh, Nichon Jindapon, but in the end came through very convincing. So, players ready to uh, take the court. There's uh, Nosomi Okuhara. One hundred and fifty six centimeters tall, and uh, that means that Chen Yufei is having a uh, height and reach advantage as uh, she's uh, 171. And I felt that was um, rather significant last time the two played each other, that was in um, all England, where Chen Yufei won convincingly in, um, in straight games and eventually went on to win the title. Very clever player. Chenofei. Here's the head-to-heads, uh, -head, and uh, you can see that it's uh, not Somi Okohara who's leading, but um, as I mentioned, Chenofei won on the last occasion in uh, Birmingham earlier this year. At the World Tour Finals. Chenofei retired, but uh, previous to that, she also beat. Um, Okuhara in the final of uh, the China 750 tournament, winning her first major tournament, Chen Fei, and I think that title was really, really important for her self-confidence. Um, I feel she's really established her amongst um, the top three best women singles players since then. Is uh, Okuhara from uh, Umachi in uh, the Nagano Prefecture. Currently uh, ranked third in the world. It's her second, um, I beg your pardon, it's her third um, final appearance um, this year. She's runner up in both Singapore. Super 500 and Malay Malaysia Super 500. Here's her road to uh, the final. It's been very, very um, convincing, and uh, she seemed really, really um, speedy yesterday against uh, Rachina Ginzelon. Looked much faster than we've seen her earlier um, this season. There's. Uh, Chen Yufei, she's from uh, Hangzhou in the uh, Zhejiang province in China. Just turned uh, 21 in uh, March. And um, in fact, she's been equally convincing as uh, Notsumi Okuhara. If you uh, disregard that second game yesterday against uh, Nichan Jindapan, where she Definitely had chances to uh, put it away. Managed to catch glimpses of that match, and I think she looked a little bit more tired, perhaps, um, as we see her umpire 
Sam Dongwai. Gloria Lung, the service judge. Well, I thought she looked a little bit more tired yesterday, Chen Ufei, as we see Lutsum Yoko Hara doing her self-pep talk ahead of the match. Of course, it must have been um, demanding by this woman here that uh, leading China in the um, Sudiman Cup campaign. She had a not so good Yuba Cup campaign in 2018, Ladies lost a number of matches as first women singles. Right, Jumi, Okuhara, this year, Japan. she helped China to take back the Sudiman Cup title. And number left. Chen Yifei, China. Chen Yifei to serve. Love all. Play. The little nod to all the linesmen or audience from um, Okuhara also. As usual. A little bit of uh, drift alongside the court coming One. from Chen Fei towards um, Nosomi Okuhara. And it was um, Chen Fei who chose side. And she chose to start on the far side of the court here. So in the event of a third game, she would finish on the near side and be able to uh, play a little bit more freely when she plays the uh, back court. Must be a little bit more careful here in the first game, and um, let's see if um, Okuhara can uh, benefit from that. It's going all right. Three, one. Chat. Excellent uh, reverse slice from uh, Okuhara. Four, I feel that since um, Chen Yufei won that um, China Open title back in um, November 2018, she's um, had confidence to use her skills in the right way and uh, she, she's got great tactical skills she doesn't really make a lot of um, bad choices in a match perhaps not the uh, most explosive and uh, powerful player but she does she just doesn't make it more difficult than it is and, uh, finds a great way of utilizing uh, her opponent's weaknesses the question here in this match is whether Okuhara has improved her speed compared to the last um, five, six months. And um, can get so much back that it becomes uh, more difficult for Chen Ufei. Excellent play there. Great example of uh, what I just mentioned. Good little deception that uh, totally catches Okuhara wrong footed. It's 
going wide. She tried. She tried Okuhara to um, exploit a loose shot from uh, Chen Fei. There she tries to attack and uh, follow up, but that shows the difficulties um, for Okuhara in terms of uh, attacking and following up. Um, simply, simply lacks a bit of height to be really dangerous and. Um, that makes it difficult for him. It's going wide. I think there's a lot of similarities between the playing style of um, Chen Yufei and uh, the playing style of uh, Chen Long, both relying on uh, great shot quality and uh, not really uh, making uh, stupid mistakes, waiting for the uh, correct opportunity. That wasn't a stupid mistake, that was just unlucky, I think. <laughs> Maybe it was a stupid mistake. It's not like they have sort of that spectacular playing style. Neither Chen Wufei nor Chen Long, but it's just very, very efficient when they play their best. Mukwara just um, changed her racket. There was way too much power in the one she had with that um, long service there that went long. Sidelines, two on the right side and one on the left here. Fourth mistake. And you could say that it's unforced errors. I think they're psychologically forced. She knows that she's got to use all of the court when she's playing. Um, Chen Yufei. It's 
from work. well played very patient play by Natsumi Okpara and she's got to be patient there might be occasions where other players taller players might have opted for the attack but um, that's not an option here so she's got to uh, make sure the chance is really really big and that clear it's gone long and uh, Okuhara takes the narrows the lead going into the mid-game interval 11-10. to uh, resume play in this first game of the women's single final. So interesting to see who of uh, these two players has got the best patience. in the uh, final of the Sudirman Cup two weeks ago. And of course, uh, Okuhara out to uh, show the team management that they should have chosen her to uh, play the final instead of uh, Yamaguchi. Who actually was the player who uh, Okuhara defeated when um, she won the title here in 2017. She plays a little bit too short, uh, Okuhara, then uh, Chenufei is there to punish her. Yeah. Not entirely happy with uh, her own choice there. Body language says, um, oh, I have to think. Placed smash from uh, Chen Ufei. 13, 
Kitchen. Fantastic rally in this one. Great miss hit. <laughs> the miss hit went over and uh, I think it uh, totally puzzled uh, Natsumi Okuhara. Here he comes. No. Here he comes. It stops a little bit too early and uh, it's Okuhara who uh, commits an error. Chinese women's singles, Chen Fei with her All England victory earlier this year in March. Won the week ah! after in Swiss Open as well. That was a great accomplishment by the 21 year old. It's amazing. 16, 13. I feel the run of um, five points for um, Chen Fei from 10 12 to 15 12. That could very well be the decisive move in this first game. Very difficult to get um, that many points in succession when you play. Solid opponent. Oh, perfect placement. Lands really, really short. Seventeen, thirteen. Really taking advantage of the uh, reach advantage uh, compared to Okohara. Controlled by uh, Chen Fei.
wrestling that game. So it's over. 5 um, game points for Chen Fei here in the first game. Seed in this tournament, Chen Yufei, after 21 minutes of play, 21 15. So here is um, smash placement from uh, Chen Yufei. Red shuttles are smashes hit down the line and uh, whites are uh, cross court. More smashes to uh, the forehand of um, Okuhara from that uh, graphics there. Actually, a little surprising to me. But um, anyway, Chen Fei with the serve, one game up. And um, in my opinion, uh, with all the advantages here in the second game, as I see dark clouds in the horizon, if you're a Japanese fan, as Okuhara is now playing with the drift and um, will have a more difficult task. Playing the backcourt, she will be forced to attack a little bit more, and uh, that could very well end up like we saw here with uh, Chen Fei counter attacking. Moves well on court, Chen Fei, solid defense, good basic game. Stays in. Misjudgment by uh, Okuhara.
it's the smashes like this uh, when O'Connor plays a little bit too short. Uh, Chin Fei can always attack and see if um, possibilities occur. If not, she can uh, just play on. And, uh, that's where her height advantage uh, becomes so important. Much more difficult for Natsumi Okahara to do the same. She can, of course, smash down the line, but um, she's got difficulties following up as long as you've got a reasonably solid defense. Played again. Textbook badminton looks so easy. It takes so much of practice to be able to uh, execute it. Jennifer Fay has got a really good start to 2019. Three matches uh, so far this year. In the Asian Championships to Yamaguchi. Seven, Malaysia two. opened the semi final to uh, Tai Su Ying and semi final of Indonesia 500 to the now injured uh, Carolina Marin. So three semi finals and two tournament victories in the Sudirman Cup Championship. That's the year so far for the Chinese woman. Oi, that was so well played by Okuhara, but uh, what a cooler defense from uh, Chen Yufei and a bit of luck, big bit of luck as she uh, relies on the net court. Perhaps the explanation why um, Yamaguchi was uh, chosen to play the women's singles in the uh, Sudirman Cup final. Oh. I think really uh, works for Okuhara in this final here. Excellent smash down the line, and uh, Chen Yufei takes a commanding lead here in the second game. She's one game up already. Here it's 11-2 uh, as we head to the mid-game interval.
So what does it take for um, Nosomi Okuhara to come back here? Not the easiest um, of questions, but um, in my opinion, she's got to put more pressure on uh, on her shots. She's got to work extremely hard. I saw her do it um, in the World Championship final in 2017 when she won her World Championship title, beating uh, PV Sindhu, where she figured out that um, playing basic game working her opponent in uh, all four corners was not enough. She was forced to put pressure on PV Sindhu on that occasion, and um, eventually she was able to succeed. I think it's going to be even more difficult against uh, Chen Fei here, who's uh, got excellent uh, defensive skills and uh, really moves well in, um, in defense as well. And Chen Fei, she's got one of the best feelings you can have on court now. She's got the feeling that, hey, my opponent can't hurt me. I've got everything covered. It's gone wide. And no challenge from uh, Okuhara. as well. Really well left by uh, Chen Fei. That was not by much. 63. And if we look at the uh, matches in this tournament, then apart from the uh, game that Jindapan got yesterday. She got 10 and 6 in the two games she lost in Jindapan. In the quarterfinal, Michelle Lee was close in the first game, 21-19, then got 11 points in the second. Zhang Yiman, a fellow country woman of um, Chen Fei, got 7 in the second game. And Sena Kawakami, in a repeat of the uh, Swiss Open final, Scored 13 and 15, so very, very convincing by um, this woman here, who's about to set herself up amongst the favorites for next year's Olympic Games in Tokyo. Excellent follow-up here. And, uh, now I think Okuhara just wishes this could end as quickly as possible. Wants to get out of the court. Fantastic uh, display from Chen Yufei. There's going to be a couple of uh, things to uh, consider. Back home in uh, Japan with uh, head coach Choi Song Bo and uh, uh, women's singles head coach. That's gone wide and uh, Chen Yufei in a commanding display in the second game here, takes the title in uh, the Crown Group Australia Open, women's singles. What a fantastic match she played. This confirmation of the score in 33 minutes of play, 21-15, 21-3. Third tournament victory this year. Fantastic uh, development uh, she's been through. Chen Fei. Tai Su Ying in the uh, All England final 
later on lost in Malaysia where there's a bit more drift but uh, looking forward to see the matches between uh, Chen and uh, Tai Su Ying here's some highlights Um, the trophy is ready to be uh, presented and uh, let's go down courtside to our master of ceremonies for the prize presentation. will be presented by Mr. Yu Xiaoqi, Consul General of the People's Republic of China. Our runner-up, Nozomi Okahara from Japan. The Crown Group Australian Badminton Open winner and 2019 Women's Singles Champion, please welcome Chen Yifei from China. Republic of China. of a uh, happy winner of the women's singles, Chen Fei. We'll take a short break before coming back with the men's singles final. It's Jonathan Christie up against uh, fellow countryman Anthony Ginting from Indonesia. Yeah. 